Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use slider suites with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a slider suite from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board that will serve as the brain of the experiment. An ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connection. A 3 pin female to female DuPont jumper wires to connect the slider switch module to ESP32 shield. And of course, the slider switch module itself. I already have it set up in advance where ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the slider switch by following a color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the signal pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow. For this experiment, I choose GPIO32 to serve as the input signal pin from the slider switch module. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number one, let me click the run button to execute. When I move the slider switch going to the left, it will decrease the analog value read from the slider switch. And it will stop to the minimum value, which is, as of this moment, it's zero. Now, moving to the right will increase the analog value until you reach the maximum position, which is the 4095 on the right. This works by constantly checking and printing the analog value that is read from the slider switch to the REPL every 300 milliseconds. Let me click the stop button to terminate example number one. Now let's see a simple application of slider suites with example number two. Let's use this RGB LED module and set its colors using analog value of the slider suites from this going to here. Okay. I already connected the RGB module to GPIO 25, 26, and 27 for the red, green, and blue LEDs. We will use the boot button to select which color of RGB LED to configure. We will also use the onboard LED as an indicator. The LED will blink every 300 milliseconds when the steps is in the configuration mode. Else, the LED is off. Now let me demonstrate it by clicking the run current script. This program works according to steps. If steps is equal to zero, the current values of the R, G, and B variables are written as duty values for the red, green, and blue LEDs. Now, if boot button is pressed, which is indicated by this if statement, steps is incremented to 1, and the current values of R, G, and B variables are printed in the REPL. Now let me press the boot button. Now, RGB are all zeros, because as of now, we are not configuring the RGB values. You may also notice that the onboard LED is now blinking 
indicating that we are in the configuration mode. If steps is equal to 1, which is the steps for configuring the red color LED, the analog value of the slider switch, which is from 0 to 4095, is converted to 0 to 255 by ratio and proportion and is stored to the R variable. Now to display the effect of the slider switch to the red LED, the value of the R is written as duty while all other LEDs are turned off. Now let me set the red LED. Let us set it to around in the middle. Now, if the boot button is pressed, which is detected using this if statement, it will increment to steps 2. Let me press it first. Now, the REPOL displays R is set to 83, which is the converted value of the analog value of the slider. And as you may notice, the RGB LED is now displaying green which tells us that we are now in steps number two. So similar to steps number one, we convert the slider value and save it to the G variable, set the red and blue LED to turn off, while the green duty is set according to the slider value. So let's set it to around the middle. And if I press the boot button, G is set to 148. And we are now in steps number 3, which is for the blue color. So similar to steps number 1 and number 2, we are now setting for the blue color. Let us set it to the maximum value. Let's press the boot button. B is set to 255. And the final color of the RGB LED is now displayed in the RGB LED, which we are now back to steps 0, which writes the current values of R, G, and B variables as PWM duty values for the red, green, and blue LEDs, respectively. Then we set a slip here for around 300 milliseconds. While this lines of code blinks the onboard LED when the steps is either in 1, 2, or 3. Else, the onboard LED is turned off. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here can be found in the companion blog post for this video. A tech to tinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this video, please do not hesitate to write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you! And see you next time. God bless.